Hey gents, in today's video, we're going to go over the reasons why Western women go to African men for dating and sexual relationships. Why do Western women go to Africa for sex tourism? I think it has to do with the fact that Western men are becoming more and more feminized. On the other hand, women are also becoming more masculine. The opposite sex is attractive, so if you are a feminine Western woman or a masculine Western man, your ability to find a partner who is not repulsive decreases quickly. So it makes sense for men to move to Asian countries in search of feminine women. It is also important to remember that there are very few fat women in countries like Thailand. There are very few fat women in Thailand. This is very easy to understand. Even Western feminized men will look more masculine than many Asian men. So women will find such men attractive, and even more attractive because of their economic status and financial power. And the reason Western women seek out men in Africa and the Caribbean is that it is easy for men to go to these places. It's also pretty easy. I don't like stereotypes, but many black men I meet have an easier time building muscle for some reason. Perhaps Western women seeing adult products think that black men have bigger male genitalia. After all, it is natural for producers of adult content to display larger black men. Thus, it exacerbates the stereotype that there is racism in the material being developed. This is really questionable because black men are portrayed as superior. Perhaps this is why Western women often date such men in addition to being muscular. I also think that such men are very controlling. If you are a Western woman, you can spoil your lover because you have a lot of money in your home country and you can keep secrets from such men, especially in your home country of Canada. Now women can completely separate their social circles. So it's much harder to identify and shame them for their behavior. Often they have even tried to take the women out to Western countries like the United States or Canada. In some ways, it seems that not only men but women use the carrot of a green card money and foreign citizenship as bait to lure foreign partners into sex and relationships. I have seen several documentaries about Thailand, and it seems that Thai women expect that if they date more Western men, one of them will cheat on them, that is fall in love with them, and take them back to their homeland. Curiously, however, when these women return to their native countries, they find that there are men of higher status there, and they are more likely to awaken to hypergamy. Western men and women are displaced. In many countries, Access to Western resources means a better life, so lighter skin is desirable. I know an overweight woman who married an African man, which allowed him to stay in the country. I also know an older white man who married an African woman from the Ivory Coast, brought her to Canada, and started a family in a small town. It makes sense to go where the human value in the sex market is highest. I also know a sexy woman in her early 20s. She grew up in Mexico, dated young swarthy beauties there and led them on for several years. Eventually, she met a Canadian man with an ogre figure, but at least he was witty. She decided that her lifestyle was more important than a handsome man who would eventually become ugly but poor. Both men and women use their looks and race cars to get out of poverty. Only in the West do locals often make no distinction between colors and think that dating someone of another race is somehow nobler than dating someone of the same background. I don't mean to criticize them. I just don't think you have to complicate your life to be with someone, unless, of course, it's true love. Whatever that means, it's better to find someone in the same situation, to spill your feelings out so that your parents and friends approve of you than to enjoy a life full of drama and rebellion and fall in love with someone who is disrespected by their family and friends. In a sense, such people belittle themselves to appear virtuous. I also like that it forces women to acknowledge who they really are. Try it especially if you humiliate her in some way. It's one of the quickest ways to get a woman to stop communicating with you. Women hate being humiliated when they do something wrong, they either pretend it didn't happen or refuse to admit it and just hate you for asking about their shame. Women want to have power over men's lives, but more important than dominance is that his appearance is more masculine than hers. I have seen many of the most masculine women find black men attractive. Again, it all depends on their market value. Some find this to be cheating. For example, Western women who go to Japan to teach English should not get as much attention in Japan as women get from men. In other words, when lower middle income Western men go to Japan, they get the same quality women as the top 20% of women in their country. But the average Western woman who moves to Japan is forced to lower her standards because she does not get the same recognition of her worth as local women. The market for sexual services depends on many factors, including the masculinity of men in a given country. All of these contribute to the market for sexual services in a particular region. Nothing can be done about it. Of course, there are other factors as well such as age. In the US, women in their late 30s are in demand by many men as marriage partners, 
but this is not the case in Asian countries. It is women who are left behind. Therefore, Western and Asian men looking for marriage will smell desperation from women who are younger and more attractive than in their own countries. Thus, a 23 to 24 year old Thai woman may be just as desperate as a white woman in her early 30s in the United States. We don't know, but I think we do know. It all comes down to people using their value in different markets. There are stories of women looking for black men in the Caribbean and parts of Africa. Men who are considered dangerous or even feared, no one wants to be with them. Therefore, women who are with such men feel protected. Women need both a provider and a protector. Anyway, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It motivates me to create more content for you. See you next time. Cheers. Mm.